Hi, today we'll be talking about skin bleaching. Skin bleaching is the use of products to lighten dark areas of your skin or to achieve an overall lighter complexion. Do you know that there is no medical health benefit of skin bleaching? If you're new to my channel, my name is Dr. Ada Zion. At OBJY Talks with Dr. Ada Zion. I'm a consultant of pediatrician gynecologist. I discuss everything about women's health, children's health, and sometimes men's health on my channel. Please, if you have not subscribed to my page, subscribe to my page on YouTube at Dr. Kiroka Bridget at OBJY Talks with Dr. Ada Zion. Follow me on Facebook at OBJY Talks with Dr. Ada Zion. I'm also on TikTok and on Instagram with the same name. You also like this video, share it so that the targeted audience will get it. So let's go on. There is no health benefits to skin bleaching, and there are different products that can be used for skin bleaching. This includes the use of cream, use of soaps, use of pills, use of chemical substances, and even the use of laser. All these are aimed at removing the melanocyte. The melanocyte is the is an is, is on the skin, which is what gives the skin its color. For some people, the, the, depending on the level of their darkness, that is the level of their melanocyte. So what skin bleaching is done is to reduce the number of the melanocytes on the skin. This melanocyte pro protects your skin from different effects of the radiation. And that's why if you see albinos, they don't have melanin because they lack or they have reduced number of melanocytes. And because of that, exposure to sun rays may predispose them to skin cancer. And now someone that is dark enough is going to bleach her skin, removing the melanocyte, thereby removing the melanin that is produced by the melanocyte. Is that not bad? Please follow my page. If you consider lightening your skin, also consider the content of the things you are going to use to lighten your skin. The things that you are using to lighten your skin contains hydroquinone, contains mercury, or may contain steroid, amongst others. And these have effects on your body. Now, the, the number of the melanin produced or you have on your body is dependent on the number of the melanocytes that you have. There are complications to each of these things that if you, you use to lighten your skin, including mercury, including the steroid, including the hydroquinone. That mercury that you are using to lighten your skin may lead to some complications later in life because just you want to lighten your skin. Remember I said initially, there is no medical benefit to lightening your skin. So if you actually want to achieve skin bleaching, want to achieve skin bleaching, note the complications that may follow thereof. This is just my way of giving medical awareness concerning skin bleaching. Now, assuming that you have mercury in your bleaching product, either that soap or that pill or that cream, what it does that you could have mercury poisoning. And when there is mercury poisoning, the individual starts having numbness in the extremities. You start feeling numbness, it doesn't feel like your body. And it could also lead to elevated blood pressure. Your elevated, a young person is coming with elevated blood pressure. And when the person has elevated blood pressure for some time, you know it and it's um, a complication that can follow it. So elevated blood pressure can come as a mercury poisoning. You can become fatigued. Small thing, you're already feeling tired. You may not know what's happening. You don't know it's because you're bleaching and you're already having mercury poisoning from the contents of your bleaching cream. So it can lead to fatigue, fatigability, small thing, you are tired, you are no more active the way you used to be. It can lead to irritability. A little thing irritates you. You are so irritable. This you may not you may you may not be able to be observant about it, but they can be from the mercury in your cream because you are trying to bleach your cream. You may have sensitivity to light. Coming outside the sun, because the melanin that protects you from the sun is no more there. So coming out from outside the sun, you are already burning. 
they are sensitive to it. That place become part of hyperpigmented just because you are bleaching. It could be a sign of mercury poisoning. Then you can go on to have tremor. You are no more stable in doing job. Little thing, your body is tremor. As a surgeon, if you are a doctor like us, you will not be able to operate because your hand will be you be doing like no tremor that happens mostly in old age. A younger person will start having tremor. Just because of mercury poisoning. You can have memory loss. Memory loss just because from mercury that is in the bleaching cream. If you continue to use it for a long time, it may become it may poison your system. And the worst of them all is kidney failure. Kidney failure that can happen because of mercury in that cream. So if you are using mercury or bleaching cream, just have it at the back of your mind that one of the complications is that you may come tomorrow with bilateral kidney failures. Your two kidneys are failed. And the next thing is for you to do a kidney transplant. You start looking for donor. So bleaching can be a cause of kidney failure. I've seen in the social media young men, young women coming down with kidney failure because of the um, bleaching cream. You see them, you know, when you look at them, be like, ah, this person is actually bleaching. So these are the causes of consequences following uh, mercury in the bleaching cream that you are using. So this is one of it. Now let's go to another complication. Dermatitis is another complication that can follow bleaching. Dermatitis means that your body is becoming inflamed. Inflammation of the dermis. Dermis is the second part of the skin. So inflammation of the dermis, your body starts reacting because of the product in the bleaching cream. Remember you have removed all the melanin. The next thing you are seeing, you are seeing skin redness around that place, around your skin. May this place may become reddish. The other place may become whitish. You know, different colors of skin problem following bleaching cream. So how do you know that you have dermatitis? There is skin redness around your, on your body. Skin redness, blisters. You have ulcers, skin ulcers. These are signs of dermatitis. Dry and scaly skin. Your normal skin that should moisturize is, is dry. And because it's dry, remember friction, it will start breaking. So it becomes skin, dry and scaly skin. It can have itching. Itching, you are eating, you are scratching. And with that scratching, it will see the effect, the dermatitis increases. You can have scratches, itching and tenderness. So these are effects of skin bleaching leading to dermatitis. And this will show you that you have dermatitis. So another thing that can occur, even from the steroid in the bleaching cream, is known as steroid acne. Steroid acne can occur because you are this of the steroid in that bleaching skin. And what happens is that it can give you what we call white heads and black heads. White heads and black heads. We see a part of your skin. In a, in a pore, you know, there's, there are pores on the skin that enters in through the, through the skin. That's where sweat discharges, hairs come from it. So oil and uh, bacteria will be trapped in those pores. And the person will, it will not stay there, react and start developing from there. The person will have things that looks like lumps there with different colors on a bleached skin. You can have that. You can have what we call red lumps. Each part of the skin is just showing red. In fact, the skin does not appear normal. You can, it may not be the one you're seeing, even inside the body, on the stomach, inside, around the genitals. You're seeing this type of things, especially the place that sweats so much. You can have what we call skin acne. The acne. You have had this, this same acne that happens on the face. You see it on the face, see it on other parts of the body. It can even become, when it is, it gives you scar acne. So that is why it is not good to bleach. These ones are as because of effect of this steroid in the bleaching cream. So we're going to talk about the effect of the hydroquinone in the bleaching cream. So please, if you have not subscribed to my page, hit the notification button now. Subscribe to my page at Dr. Kiroka Bridges at OBGYN Talks with Dr. Adazan. I'm on Facebook at OBGYN Talks with Dr. Adazan. 
on TikTok and on Instagram with the same name. Please share this video. Share it. Hit the notification button. Share it. Share it so that you get to the targeted audience. Like and comment. So let's go to the effect of hydroquinone. So as a result of hydroquinone, the person will have what we call exogenous ochronosis. It's a blue-black pigmentation on the skin. Blue-black. Remember your skin is already fair because you have bleached and removed the melanin. You now start seeing blue-black discoloration on the skin. It's as a result of long-term use of hydroquinone. You know when the person starts it, it's toning and the person wants to continue. And next thing, the person starts bleaching and continues bleaching. When you have used it for a long time, you are not using these uh, uh, abnormalities on the skin. None above all, all these things that I've mentioned will lead to nephrotic syndrome. Nephrotic syndrome is that the vessel to that kidneys are becoming blocked. The body cannot be able to fit that very well now. And the person is seeing protein in her urine. You start seeing protein, albumin, inside your urine that is not supposed to be there because the person is bleaching. The person will come with puffiness of the face, especially in the morning around the eye. As the day is going by, the, the eye is reducing. The person is comes with leg edema. These are effects of bleaching cream so in conclusion people can bleed to hide some scars that is cosmetic benefit however medically there is no benefit to skin bleaching the melanin in your system on your body on your skin is enough to protect you from the sun rays Noting that this rays, remember we are talking about that the cover to the earth is being depleted, removed because of effects on human, human harmful practices being done all over the world. is removing their radiation cover and people are prone to cancers following sun rays, following radiations from above. And you are there removing the melanin on the skin that is trying to, trying to protect you. Anyways, these are the complications that may follow. There are others that I did not mention. So if you do not have any medical benefit, we are not seeing any result for you to uh, bleach. Please don't bleach. There are complications surrounding it. What do you do? Eat normal food. What you eat from your body comes to the skin. So eat enough fruits and vegetables. Eat proteinous food. Reduce your carbohydrate intake. Man, rehydrate very well. Take enough water. Water will help your body to moisturize. Then get moisturizers. Creams, natural creams, not bleaching creams. Natural creams that moisturizes your skin. What you eat shows in your body. Moisturize your skin. The next you can get is sunscreen. Get them and use them. It will protect you from the rays of the sun, from the radiations, from the environment. Now, as much as possible, stay in a good environment. Avoid exposures to a prolonged sunlight. However, do not bleach. There is no advantage to it. Thank you for watching to this point. Subscribe to my page. Share this video. Hit the notification button. Share, share and share comment leave a like thank you see you next time my name is dr adazayan see you next time thank you